In this demonstration we will take a look how SQL Buck is a service that allows you to back up SQL Server databases and send them to remote locations work. Uh, let's do it from start to finish. So first of all we go to sqlbug.com, press button start, sign up, we can sign up uh, with our name or we can just sign up with Twitter, Google, Facebook application, it takes just a couple of seconds. After sign up the automat it automatically starts downloading the application. I have it downloaded already. Uh, in the application that is downloaded, we need to enter a secret key. Secret key is necessary to connect that application to this dashboard, to the web, web service. And uh, that local application is supposed to run on, SQL, on your actual SQL Server computer. After you installed it and connected it, you can actually just forget it. You won't need it, you won't do anything there, 100% of your configuration will be done on the web. Uh, if we are going to see what computers are connected to this account, now we see that we have that application connected. And let's go and create a new job for this application. Uh, first, we uh, need to connect to computer, it's Expo Server 2. Second, we need to connect to our instance, SQL Server instance. Hurrah! So, continue to job settings. Right now, we are already connected to computer, to the SQL Server, and the steps that we are taking to create a new backup job is, first of all, we'll select databases, we'll select where to store those databases, in what locations. Maybe we'll schedule it, we'll take a look what kind of compression we have, and we also want to receive email confirmation on backup success or failure, so we will do that as well. But first step, let's wait till it loads the databases, all of the databases that we have on the web, on, on that SQL Server connected. We have only Adventure Work, so let's select that. Where do we want to store those backups? We need to add those backu these backup destinations. In the list we have an option to store them in a local or that's a network folder, FTP site, Amazon S3, Dropbox, Google Drive, OneDrive and Windows Azure. Let's say for simplicity we want to store in the net local network. Uh, obvious on the local drive. Obviously it's always better if you do it in real world situation to store it at least on a different physical machine. And let's probably add another destination, Dropbox, let's say Google Drive. Uh, for Google Drive we need to authorize it first. And after it's authorized it will, we will be able to store it in that Google Drive. We can press button test if we want, but I'm pretty certain it will work. So let's store it in folder backup. We can delete it after, by default it deletes after six months, but uh, if I don't need it for that long, let me say that I'm deleted in one month. And we can choose what kind of backups we want to send. Differential, transaction log, let's say that I want all of the backups to be stored locally, but to the Google Drive I only want to send full backups. Let's say this configuration, do we want to schedule a yeah, why not? Let's say we want to run full backups every day at, let's say, 1 uh, zero, zero a.m. Okay, fantastic, 1 a.m. A.m. Now, if we want an advanced backup scheduler, we can set up differential, let's say, like, run every hour. I think it's it's also great. Uh, compression. Zip compression is good enough. Email confirmation. It will send email confirmation to my account in case of failure and on success. I don't really want to receive emails on success. I can run custom scripts on before or after backup. I don't want it now. I don't want to backup folders. Uh, encryption. IS encryption becomes very handy, but I don't want it at this time. And that's it. We're done. Create. So we've just created a job, and that job connects to this computer, to this SQL server, backups this database and sends them to the local folder and to the Google Drive, and it is scheduled to run every 24 hours for full, and differential will run every hour. And on failure, it will, I will receive a mail on my account, and it compresses it to zip. Uh, let's say I don't want to wait and I just want to run. While it's running, Let's let me see what I actually have 
in the in that database and maybe we'll do something terrible to that database like let's say we uh, we will make some junior developer to delete some some table let's take a look at the tables uh, let's say we have password databases password table in that database and it's obviously has some values and let's say I want some some junior developer just goes and deletes this table but wait let's wait till backup finishes actually connecting to Google Drive sending backup aha uh -huh, so it's already uploaded it to the temp folder cleaning up just finished success fantastic in the list we see that in the list backup history we see that this job successfully finished so we are safe to delete um, delete the table so this table is now gone not this table but table password let's just verify that cannot find stored procedure password I'm sorry like this invalid object name of course it's deleted oh my god nothing works the system is down let's say you're sitting somewhere on the beach you just open your 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 smartphone you open your browser whatever you want you come to SQL bug dashboard and this will restore your latest backup just press a button where do we want it to restore right now the same backup is stored in the folder uh, in temp folder and it's also stored in adventure uh, in Google Drive um, let's say from the local folder that's will just ask for confirmation if we are certain because it will replace the, the current data with the data from backup we press start and let's see what it does so right now it says restoring first of all downloading the, the database and now it restores fantastic AdventureWorks has been successfully restored on Expo Server 2 let's make sure that this is true last time we ran this statement we got invalid object name uh, this time it says transport level proto protocol so this just means that we need to reconnect to the to the d d uh, to that database run again fantastic this is all restored and all in the matter of just couple of clicks now if we have once we have more backups here we will see this list grow we can restore from any of the successful backups from any of the locations and we can select just differential transaction log backup and it will build all of the chain itself it's just really just a matter of couple clicks to restore any of your databases as an additional bonus the program actually d uh, monitors your servers so in case if the server is down it will automatically send your email notification about your server server be being done very useful also if your company that provides uh, private label it provides services backup services to other companies you can set up your own private label and in this case all of the emails will be coming from your third level domain let's say my company is com, and it will be branded with your logo even publication that they install in their computer will have your name and your logo so nobody will know that it's done by SQL bug and that's you will just pay the same prices as anyone anyone else by the way talking about the prices they're free there are free plans professional standard and free the difference between them is where you actually store backups on professional you can store everywhere and on standard you can store almost everywhere but Amazon is free <coughs> and there's also a free plan if you are okay with just having one server with two databases you can use it completely free uh, as long as your destination are limited to local network folder and FTP site it's a great service it's a unique service in the sense uh, from from a point of view that it the only service that allows you to do all of your backups just from from the web uh, nothing like that exists you should certainly check it out try it sqlbug.com thank you